please make sure your 9000 is in the correct sport. Hold setup, type in 5833 and press enter. Go to option 2 for sport and make sure you're in hockey and solo. You will then go through a various of different league settings. If you wish to learn more about these settings, they're located in the 9000 manual and the link to that will be in the description below. After you enter all your settings, on re reboot, press clear for new game. To change the game time, press game time on your 9000, start typing in the minutes and the seconds and then press enter. To start and stop the time, just hit run and then stop. If you wish to use intermission mode, press the int mode button on your 9000 and type in the value of minutes on keypad and press enter. The intermission mode will take over the game time on your scoreboard and then you just hit run and let the timer run to zero. After which, to cancel it, hit in mode again. To change the score in your game, you can either press home score plus one or guest score plus one. This will increment the value by one. If you wish to change it manually, just press the home score button, type in the value on the keypad, and then press enter. This will overwrite your home score or guest score setting. When your game time runs to zero, to change your period, just double click the period button on your 9000. To enter penalties, make sure your 9000 game time is stopped. Then press either guest pen or home pen. Start by pressing the player number value, then enter, and then following by the minutes and seconds, then pressing enter. This will populate on your scoreboard. Your player penalties will count automatically with your game time, so all you will need to do is hit run on your ISC 9000 controller. If you wish to adjust your shots on goal, either press home shots plus one or guest shots plus one. You can also manually change your shots on goal by pressing home shots or guest shots, then typing the value on your 9000 controller and press enter. If your scoreboard has the ability to represent this, it can, otherwise it's only stored internally on your 9000. At the beginning of the game, assign each team with the correct number of timeouts left. Do this by pressing Guest Timeouts Left or Home Timeouts Left on your 9000 controller. Then, type in the number on the keypad and press Enter. To activate Timeouts Left in the game, double click Home or Guest Timeouts Left. This will automatically decrease the value by 1. This is shown on the ISC 9000 controller. The current scoreboard model does not have a section for Timeouts Left. If your facility has goal lights, Press the left or right goal light button on your 9000 controller. This will activate the corresponding goal light. The end of period light is automatic when your game time reaches zero. If you have more than two player penalties in any given time, on this particular scoreboard only two will be displayed. However, once one of the previous player penalties clears, the one that's next on the list will move up and take its place on your scoreboard. When you are done using your controller, press the off button on your keypad. This will turn off your 9000. Thank you for watching our ISC 9000 controller operator series.